Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of cheesy! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, the most finicky eater in the baseball community in Japan is Katsuya Nomura, manager of the Yakult Swallows. The other day, I happened to receive a letter from him saying that there is a man worthy of my attention. He further explains that when the Yakult Swallows are in Osaka taking on the Hanshin Tigers, the whole team stays at the Osaka Daichi Hotel, where our chef in question resides. The chef comes highly recommended, not only by Nomura, but the players as well. He's quite a man, really enthusiastic about cooking as a whole. And he's still quite young, and I see potential in him. Now let me introduce him. A favorite of Japanese professional baseball team, the Yakult Swallows. Head chef of carrot at Osaka Daichi Hotel, Hiroshi Furusho. He joined the kitchen of Osaka Plaza Hotel at age 18. After studying for three years, he left for France at 21. His talents were soon discovered by discerning gourmets. He soon found himself heading the kitchen of the Japanese embassy to Morocco. Two years later, he joined Osaka Daichi Hotel and has been handling all the meals for the swallows when they are in Osaka ever since. Athletes are not only concerned about the nutritional value of their food intake, but also picky about the taste as well. And Furusho has kept these men satisfied for over nine years with his variety of original recipes. The dishes here in Osaka are outstanding. I look forward to coming here, yeah. He always manages to serve up a different variety of flavors. Furusho's dishes, without a doubt, are the best. His dishes have depth, you know, profound flavors. Surprisingly, Furusho's best pitch can be found in his spicy Cajun food. Cajun food originated from French food, but uses plenty of spices and chili, hot and stimulating cuisine. Furusho says that's where his soul is. Well, really, my formal training was in Cajun food, but the management of the ball club has asked me to refrain from serving spicy food, which is a dilemma for me sometimes. Nomura seems to understand that their chef has many sides to his talents to offer. I can see that this man is striving for higher places. I see it in his attitude and dishes. Well, I know it's not easy, but I would really like him to win. Uh, I think it would be a close one for sure. Guys from Osaka, they're serious competitors. You gotta remember that. So now, Furusho, with your spicy Cajun food, set fire to your soul and light the flame of victory in the kitchen stadium. Furusho, don't be nervous. Good luck! Uso! Thanks. I'll win.
It's Kitchen Stadium today, not Jingu Stadium for all the Yakult Swallow baseball players here. Also with us is actress Miyoko Takata. Welcome. Pleasure to be here. Takata-san, yes. you're a Yakult fan? I'm a fan of Ichiro. Ah, Oryx Blue Wave. Yes. Okay, they're a good team. But uh, today you yes. can get behind the Swallows just for a day, right? Okay, I'll try. All right, and our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori, Doc. Always a pleasure. All right, time to bring him on, Chairman Kaga. プロ野球選手。彼らほど味にうるさくわがままな男たちはいません。そんなプロ野球選手たちの舌を大いに満足させてきた料理人がやってまいりました。あの、ヤクルトスワローズ野村監督が太鼓判を押す人の挑戦者
Well, you make a good point. It's not yep. something you see in Japan a lot, but it's actually fairly close to chicken, so I don't think the Iron Chef will have too much trouble. All right. Mm. And also, flavor-wise, it's fairly plain, so it should be okay. From the floor, Shinichiro to go. An interesting thing happened in the Challenger's Corner right before the opening gong. Challenger Fudosho asked manager Nomura what he thought the theme ingredient was going to be, and Nomura-san said, think about the season and the producer of the show. It's going to be turkey, and he was right on. Man alive, <laughs> manager, correct hunch, knowing what was going to come up just like a game situation. Yeah, I noticed him right at the beginning there, grinning away, seeing the, uh, the ingredient come up. He was all smiles, knew he had called it in advance, and now Show cut job there, and it looks like he's a southpaw. Yeah, Left-handed cutter he is. That's rear in the kitchen. Now the Iron Chef here. Oh, he's got some truffles? Slipping them in. It's a French technique. Yes. From the Iron <laughs> Chef Japanese. <laughs> he can do anything. Well, the Iron Chef, if he were a baseball player, you'd turn over his card and see a lot of asterisks, league-leading numbers through the years. Mm -hmm. And if he was a pitcher, you know his manager could pencil him in for 20 to 25 wins every year. But today, dealing with turkey, something he's not used to handling. Fukuzan? Yes. That's exactly what I asked Iron Chef Michiba about, and he might be simplifying things a bit too much, but he said, hey, this is just an overgrown chicken. Chicken. It should be no problem. <laughs> Big chicken, chicken, all right. Okay, you notice the challenger here. He's slicing off pieces according to the dishes that he has planned. Oh, he's been busy over there. Oh, uh, yes, yes. He's preparing several different cuts. He'll probably start cooking them all yes. at once. Some of the ingredients that the challenger has on hand so far are tom yum kum paste, basil, prawns, garlic, potatoes, and a few other things that you see in this tray here. All right, thanks, Ota. Right there they are. Ah, tom yum kum. Yeah, that's a soup using shrimp or prawns. Right. Yeah, very spicy. It's become popular, too. Ah, uh, the Thai soup. And right, Fukuzan? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, on the other side, on Iron Chef's side, it looks like he'll be using that haunted pressure cooker, if you know what I mean. Pressure cooker, <laughs> huh? The haunted one. <laughs> oh, I remember. Don't you remember? <laughs> yeah. It, it, like, exploded once. Well, sort of exploded. Michiba yeah. and that pressure cooker, they don't jive together. <laughs> and Michiba has the bird with truffles under the skin, which he's steaming right there. Okay, right, right. there in the oh, cooker. That would be good, yeah. Mm. And now some turkey on the stove there. It just looks like normal boiling, I think. Just lightly cooking it. And just taking it off right there. Maybe sashimi or tataki. Just lightly cook, slice wasabi. Mm. Mm. Boy, that sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Challenger Fudo Show seems to be upping the ante and the pace a little bit. He says he's shooting for five dishes today. Five, all right. Be aggressive. Be, just be taking aggressive. a look back at some of the recent battles, though. Five is a tough number of dishes for a chef to complete in here in the 60-minute yeah, one. Yeah, mm. four is about the max that you usually see here, so... All right, well, challenge is oh, going wow. for five. Look. Challenger side here. Oh, that's the Iron Chef's foie gras, right? He's slicing okay, it. Okay, the Iron okay. Chef's got the foie gras. Challenger deep frying. There is the foie gras yeah, okay. being fried. Truffles earlier he had. Looks like it's flavored with soy sauce. Yeah, he was adding soy sauce. Oh, okay, so that's that's a very Japanese thing to do. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah, in this frying pan that you're seeing right here, he has combined butter and sweet sake with the soy sauce. What a blend of the three. Oh, it's a very nice blend, too. And soy sauce contributing the Japanese foundation oh, to this. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that's the boiled turkey, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that smells good, doesn't it? It smells wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful aroma wafting over this way. Soy sauce, butter. Mm-hmm. Tell you, it's a little early to, to start feeling the appetite <laughs> kicking in. <laughs> Iron Chef here. Okay, so he'll be adding the rice halfway through this. To where? Um, he'll add it to the turkey, the one with the truffles under That's the skin. That's the one in the pressure cooker, I believe, right? Yeah, he'll cook them all together. Okay, and in it goes, oh, right yeah. there. Boy, wow. Oh, that, oh, that'll look Looking good. Looking nice, uh, rice cooking up with the turkey, a whole one in there. Oh, I can't get over the smell already. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I agree. All right, now Ota's ready for a few words with some of the ball players upstairs. If you're ready, go ahead and take Take it, big fella. Thank you. Let's start with the cleanup guys in the batting order. Ikiyama-san, what exactly do you like about Chef Fudusho? He doesn't compromise flavor. A perfectionist? Yes. Okay, and how do you think he's doing so far? Well, he looks a bit uh, nervous down Oh, there. really? And how is he usually then? Relaxed. Interesting. And finally, ace pitcher Okabayashi. Do you think he has the arsenal to score a win today? Yeah, I think he has the stuff to win. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's it from the dugout. Back to you, Fukui-san. All right, eight players from the team. Okabayashi, Osaka, Nishimura, Ikeyama, and Ida, Hashigami, Hata, and Joe. Apparently, the team's top gourmets, led by the great one, Katsuya Nomura, under his leadership a couple of Japan Series Championships. Pitcher Okabayashi with two wins this season against the Tigers there. Ikeyama going deep twice at Koshien Stadium. Furusho cooks for them. The players chow down and the team keeps on winning. Hot baseball they've been playing and a hot fire on the challenger side. Yeah, he's uh, sautéing some turkey slices now and 
Looks like he's going to put them on, what is that? A grill? A plate? Okay, oh, he plans to cook them further. Venture a guess as to how? I would say the oven. All right, now let's get back to the Iron Chef's side and here. Uh, some sort of paste? Tomato paste, it looks like. Okay, it's gone in. Yeah. Maybe vine berries? Oh, no, I see no, some zucchini no. also. Okay, zucchini in there as well. All right. Cousin? Yes. Yeah, as you've already noticed, the Iron Chef has added some more ingredients to his pressure cooker. Those ingredients are rice, carrots, celery, bell peppers, red kidney beans, and the red sauce is not tomato puree. It is tomato paste. Back to you. Okay, tomato paste. All right. All right, thanks. And the assistant giving that a swirl in the cooker. Now, Iron Chef Michiba <laughs> beginning his exercise, calligraphy writing of his menu. I love this. Let's see here. Now, how can we read that? Uh, let, let's call it turkey ex extravaganza. <laughs> That's good. Uh, what, what, holy what? Holy night? Holy, maybe a, a Christmas theme or something? Holy moly, a dinner for the <laughs> holiday season, I guess you'd call it. And just look at the care he takes, the skill in his calligraphy work there. Yeah, he is just so good at that. And seeing some seldom used kanji characters there, that'll throw you off. <laughs> <laughs> breast meat? Uh, yeah, breast meat. And what's he doing? Is this what cocky, the... I think. Oysters. Oh, oysters. oysters. Okay. Oysters, yeah. Turkey, breast meat, and oysters. That's the first dish. And just the descriptions have me salivating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ota's in position to talk with manager Nomura. Go ahead. Thank you. From the coach's box in front of the fridge, manager Katsuya Nomura has been intently watching this battle. And what's your impression of the first few innings from these two? Well, for the challenger. See, this is a uh -huh. first for him. So uh -huh. It looks like he's having difficulty managing his time. He, he looks a bit tense. Some of the players notice that, too. Meanwhile, yeah. the Iron Chef is the Iron Chef. You know, he's relaxed, he's controlled, he's uh, managing his time perfectly mm -hmm. in his mind. So what kind of advice would you give to the challenger in the last half of the battle? Well, the Iron Chef is a big name uh -huh. in Japanese cuisine. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I talked about this before the battle. He said he was confident, uh -huh. so I guess he's okay. Uh huh. So, and lastly, how about some words of encouragement for your starter on the mound? Go for it. <laughs> okay, go for it, simple and direct. And with that, I'll send it back to you again, Fukui-san. All right, and hearing the encouragement from Nomura, the challenger breaking into a grin today, cooking on behalf of the Yakult skipper and players. Meantime, Iron Chef continuing with the ride of his menu, his lineup card, if you will. <laughs> Three dishes right there. So far, I think I can make out in that. No, do my reading ravioli? Is that right? Uh, I believe you are, yeah. Huh. And also Samgatan soup, his style. Ah, yeah. yes, yes. So that one there. That's Must... probably the soup with the whole turkey. In right, it? in the pressure cooker. And the assorted vegetables. Yeah. Okay, now back to the challenger here. Uh, was it spring roll sheets or something? Wonton skin? Oh, yes, and apparently shaping it there. Okay, for a bowl or container then. To be used perhaps as a serving instrument, shaping it, frying it there. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, right. It looks like he's making it into a bowl. Yeah, mm. making it uh, All right, right now. Now back with the Iron Chef. Oh, turnips. Somewhat hollowed out there. That would be obviously for stuffing then. Hmm, okay, see if he wants to stuff him with turkey. Now, this is back on Furusho's side. This is the Tom Young Kun soup. This is it? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Looks to be a standalone there. Yeah, and it also looks right here like he's got uh, bechamel sauce. Which is? Uh, a white sauce. Okay. Uh, you've seen it. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, the challenger's added some jambalaya mix to this white sauce. I asked him uh, what it was for, but he didn't give me a straight answer, so perhaps he hasn't decided himself yet. <laughs> or keeping it under wraps. Okay, well, jambalaya mix is obviously a mix of, of many different spices, right? Uh -huh. So. Uh -huh. All right, Iron Chef now. The breast meat, turkey breast meat, and oysters, supposed to go with some kind of green sauce, I oh, think. Oh, right, right, that was on the menu. 30 minutes, how is using the shells, too. Oh, okay, oyster shells. Gonna use them as a serving platform, it appears. Moments ago, the 30 minute call, 30 minutes gone, 30 to go, second half of the turkey battle. Today's challenger, a man who cooks for the Yakult Swallows baseball team. Okay, what you're seeing there is breast meat. Okay, and it's being iced down right now. Yeah, that was uh, cooked once lately. I'm, I'm guessing he'll slice them up a little bit more and then finish them off Okay, somehow, cooling but, it down right now. But how he's going to do that, no idea. And right here, <laughs> pot on the right side of Furusho's stove, boiling away there, nice bright orange color. Could be going Cajun right wow. there. <laughs> and here's the pan getting in up close. Okay, white sauce, but... He's got the reddish orange one and this one here with the white sauce that's been dumped in. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And now this one to the rear. Okay, oh, that's still the Tom Young The Thai soup. Yeah, the red hot. Okay, and now <laughs> swinging back to the Iron Chef, assistant there. Uh, ravioli? Ah. Is Kusan? Yes. Yeah, these items that you see the Iron Chef working with are Chinese wonton skins. Got it. Oh, wonton skins, okay. okay. But he said he was making ravioli, wasn't it? Guess you can make it with that. 
Okay, well, that could work. So he'll just be wrapping them up with that, I guess. All right, and while the assistants work on that, me, Chiba, working on this plate here. And I'm going to have to say that turkey meat is raw, it looks like. Or if it has <laughs> been cooked, it's been cooked ever so lightly. Oh. But and he's topping it with something raw. there. And how about the topping? What, what, it looks like. what is in there? I have no there? idea what it looks like a carpaccio, actually. Okay. <laughs> hey, now, hold on. Look at Manager Nomura going over to the other bench oh here. My, oh my. What is this going to be? This one? <laughs> I'm going to grill them later and sandwich them in dried seaweed. Oh, you somebody style grill, okay. Raw? No, they'll be grilled oh, later. Now I'll do it in front of the panel. No more of the sly one. He was that way as a, in his playing days, too. Spying, spying. And he wasn't above messing with the opposing batters, maybe trying to work some of that off on Michiba there. I've always wanted to listen in to what he said in the batter's box. Scrounging for info, trying to steal the other team's signs, and you know, that's... Some of that's what he's found out is going to be passed on to this guy right here looking for any edge and perhaps the challenger most likely waiting for the skip to come back to his side of the field. Nomura's managing motto, ID Baseball Instant Data Baseball. And you know that info will be shared. Whoa, fire bringing the flames. And now back on the Iron Chef side. Okay, so truffles will be going in the hollowed turnips. Or I'm sorry, foie gras. All right. Foie gras is, is in there now. Look at that. Wow. And maybe the turkey goes on top? Okay. okay, the ravioli? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, could be. Yeah, could, could be. be. You know. Good guess. All right, Dan Nomura taking a look at that one, too. And now on his way back. Oh, he did put it on. Yes, good call, and a sizable piece, too. Now, Hatori-san, do you think he'll steam this? That would be my guess, yes. Okay, he's going back with the information. Of course. <laughs> Mid-game right, powwow. Right. Well, Nomura having given his scouting report to Fudo Show and now off to the side as the cucumber oh, here gets the like treatment. A totem pole. <laughs> Any <laughs> name for this style of cutting? Sculpture. I don't even know how he'll use this really. <laughs> All right, and he's left-handed doing about that. Dexterity. As, as we noted earlier, southpaw delivery here. Yeah, he's got uh, he's got skills. Oh. Never seen this particular style of cutting. <laughs> I have to uh, I have to go along with on that one. Very skilled, delicate touch. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a really good touch, and this would be an interesting texture. And at the same time, he's able to cut it and also get the report from his skipper, and here's the slow-mo replay doing it justice. Ah. Yeah, he is pretty good. And that's the finished product right there. Oh, okay. Okay, right, right. Interesting. Fukuzan! Yes. We watched Nomura-san in Michiba-san's corner asking questions and trying to distract him, maybe find a hole in his swing. One of the questions was, Michiba-san, what's your weakness? And Michiba-san replied, weakness? Uh, maybe women? <laughs> With that answer, <laughs> Nomura-san finally gave up. <laughs> All right, interesting exchange over there. Uh, I don't think that'll help Fudosho too much. Michiba not going to get caught up at all in any of the manager's attempts at getting under his skin, riling the opposition with that's what Nomura is pretty good at okay look at him now okay Iron Chef side all right this is the Samgatan soup okay and speaking ah. of getting under the skin oh cloudy lens there. yes <laughs> but that's the Samgatan soup with the truffles under the turkey skin right yep and it's not chicken but it's a turkey version, and now Furusho here. Um, frying up some breadcrumbs. Uh, I guess we were right about then frying something here. Popped yeah. into the wok, hot bubbling oil for a deep fry job. This is breast meat? Uh, I, I don't think so. I think it's something else. All right. Yeah. It's turkey meat breaded and deep fried. Now the Iron Chef. Oh, wow, well, look at that. Looks <laughs> done. This oh, one. look at that. Oh, it Unbelievable. Look Looking so <laughs> yeah. fine. I could go for a little nibble of that right now. <laughs> On the menu, it's Samgetan Soup Iron Chef style, and it's looking like a winner. And he's such a great chef. He makes it visually pleasing as well. Visual appeal in spades. And you know the flavor is going to be fantastic. Mm. You know, who wouldn't want to try this after looking at that? You know, <laughs> something to be Yes. I wanted to find out what nomura had learned after scouting out the other side's bullpen, but he looked like he was a couple of runs down in the bottom of the eighth when he said, the Iron Chef is very creative in blending Japanese and other styles. It's going to be tough today. All right, Ota, staying on top of the game within a game here. <laughs> and make no mistake about it, Nomoto's brought Fudo Show in here to win. The manager's all about winning all through an illustrious playing and managing career. And now taking the Yakult team to the pinnacle of the pro baseball world. Today, bringing in the Ten team chef, the man go. who cooks for them when they're down in Osaka. Not quite raging, but he is a Cajun specialist. <laughs> now, this is a mayonnaise-based sauce. Do you think this is just for decoration? Put down a pattern with it? I believe so, yeah. 
Yeah. All right, now back with the Iron Chef. Okay, Doc, what's this? <laughs> uh, yes. The whitish stuff looks like meringue on bamboo okay, leaves. Okay, putting that on the leaves there. So made from egg, egg white, then? Yeah, I, I don't know if it's going to taste like meringue. But Maybe to is. suggest snow. Oh, very pretty. Okay, oh, now the oh, challenge you hear quite an elaborate offering. Ah. Okay, and we got the fried items there. And on top of it, looks like the mayonnaise sauce Ooh, he had. Some mayo based sauce. All right, yes. both Fudosho and Michiba moving in a good clip, working on the finishing touches for some of their dishes here in the late going, the late innings of an all out turkey battle in this one. Okay, the Iron Chef is doing a lot today to really show off the season, isn't he? Wow, it's beautiful, look. <laughs> yeah, and yes, right here he's added some gold foil as well. Yeah, keeping things seasonal is very important. Absolutely, is yeah. the challenger now dishing out this one, Cajun looking and upstairs in the Royal Box, a few of the players on their feet trying to get a better view. Okabayashi and Ikeyama, Ida and Hashigami and Hata all up in the late innings of this one, trying to get a better look at the emerging dishes. Looks like they're gonna, they're ready to come on down and eat. Maybe someone should clue them in. They'll not be tasting any of the dishes. <laughs> Fukuzan? Yes. Iron Chef Michiba grabbed me and said, hey, today that weird pressure cooker seemed to be in a good mood. We did all right. All right, you can count on it. <laughs> what a relief. Now back to the challenger getting this one. The deep fried turkey looks to be a done deal here. I'd say it's finished, yeah. A reddish orange sauce. That's what yeah. he had in the pot on the stove earlier. A very earthy color, that one, as the camera zooms in for an even closer up close personal look. And the ingredients are are quite good for athletes as well. It's it's very hearty. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Furusho there showing he knows what he's doing. And a lot of volume too, but he's probably used to that for <laughs> feeding those guys all That's the time. Right. <laughs> now here he's got kind of a salad. Hmm, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, jelly goes on top. Ah, All right. Yes. That looks that looks pretty good, actually. A consomme jelly there. Some of the dishes, they do have a holiday slant in their appearance. Yeah, beginning to look a lot like, well, you know. And that one coming courtesy of Challenger Fudo Show. And now getting back to the Iron Chef side, he's chugging right along. And that's a look of the one that uses the oyster shell, turkey breast and oysters. Players now moving around upstairs, straining to get a look. <laughs> We've got a great shot right there at the uh, spicy Thai yeah. soup. The Tom Yum Kun soup. Loaded with ingredients. And he's added a lot of turkey in it. Tom Yum Turkey, all right. <laughs> and this is the ravioli on ah, turnips, yes. right? No, he did steam this. It was steamed, yeah. Okay, okay, the Iron Chefs it is. I think he'll pour soup onto this. All right, and loading them into the bowls and then pour on a soup or broth, a little situation substitution with that one. Yeah, I'm sure his broth of vigor is around here somewhere. <laughs> Waiting for Michiba's trademark broth of vigor, looking fine as is though. Mm, indeed. All right, three minutes left, crunch time, stepping it up on Fudo Show's side, hearing the call. They're unloading this one right now. Okay, now what's this? Oh, this Very is creamy effort. Like a stew? I would say the same thing, yeah, it's gotta uh -huh. be a stew. Okay, turkey stewed in a white cream sauce. Now, this may look like a regular cream stew, but with the jambalaya mix in there, those yes. other spices, this is gonna taste different. <laughs> okay, it should. <laughs> it's probably got a lot more impact, shall we say. It's probably a lot better too than normal stew. All right. So it's amazing. spicy maybe. Mm, yeah, you'll get a pretty good bite out of that. Okay, I'll look forward to that. <laughs> Find out exactly how it tastes. And so then you dip the fried item, what? Yeah, you would dip that. Okay. You okay. would dip that deep fried skin. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. You would pour the stew onto the fried pieces and then just eat the whole thing. As, as All right, got you. it. Okay, for clarifying, like a taco or something. In a way, <laughs> a chip, yes. A chip. That's how it'll go. The cream stew and a crispy skin. Yeah, well, you could even serve it on top of that, I guess, but I, I don't think so. Yes. The Iron Chef has reconfirmed that the raw turkey slices that he has on his side will be grilled just before serving to the tasters. Oh, that one right there. Throw okay. it all on a griddle. That's the sobe style. Okay, and I think that's how it was on the menu. So wrap it up in dried seaweed sheets, right? Yes. Okay, that's Sounds the MO for that mm -hmm. one. Iron Chef, very active today. Yeah, he's uh, got his showmanship working for him. Big stage today with Nomura and the players, and now a minute left, the final 60 seconds of his 60 minute no holds barred turkey battle, and the fried wonton skin resting on the plate. You'd have to assume the turkey cream stew will end up on top of that. Yeah. Footer show checking the contents of the earthenware bowl. The challenger will be planning to serve that one up warm. Dish it out to the panel. Yeah. 
And it's the bottom of the ninth, two outs, tying and winning runs on base for the chef of the Yakult Swallows, Michiba, trying to snuff out the rally. And the manager, all he can do is watch. It's out of his hands now. And the players, too, are going to be of no help. It's solely on the shoulders of Furusho. It's up to him to show he's got the stuff at the plate to hit and score enough to defeat the Iron Chef. The Swallows have been in the midst of a Central League championship run the past few seasons. Great pitching, great hitting, and now manager Nomura trying to push all the the right buttons and achieve Three, victory in Kitchen Stadium two, with great cooking one. by Furusho. Final seconds tick down. That's it. The cooking's done. The turkey battle is over. How was that one hour for you? It was quite short. Pretty yes. quick. Okay. And how did your dishes turn out? Oh, so so, I'd say. Because of the time frame, you mean? Yes. And Nomura-san, you watched this battle very intently, very closely. I was nervous the whole way. You nervous? <laughs> okay. The Iron Chef, of course, is used to this, you know. Uh, yes, uh -huh. uh, There are no wasted motions. Right. Uh, I hate to keep uh, repeating myself about the time factor, but in order to, to prepare food properly, you have to spend time. Uh, uh -huh. You have to take the time. So uh, that part must have been tough for this new man. Uh, I see. All right, thank you. And nice going in there. During the battle, Nomura-san tried to steal a few signs. Yeah, Other than that, yeah. how did it go? Well, turkey is the theme, and it's yes. not really something extremely tasty in itself. Really? I mean, you've <laughs> got to flavor it properly. Ah. You really have to add a lot. I see. Challenger Furusho is offering five dishes. First, turkey salad, a delightful starter with the naturally mild flavor of turkey meat accentuated here by the consomme jelly. Second, fried turkey, Cajun style, an inventive use of soy sauce. It was added to the chili mayonnaise that's gently dropped on. Third, turkey piccata. The turkey was deep fried in an egg-based batter, creating a gentle texture that goes well with the tomato sauce. Turkey and cream stew. The stew will be served in a bowl made of a fried spring roll skin, plain looking but profound because of the mix of spices. Last, tom yum turkey. Finishing with a kick, he rearranges this Thai soup Cajun style. The mild flavor of turkey is a nice contrast to the hot and sour flavors inherent in this spicy tom yum soup. Iron Chef Michiba counters with four dishes. First, turkey and oyster appetizer with gold foil spread around this winter-themed dish. The breast meat cooked just right goes well with the anchovy and mayonnaise dip. Turnip and foie gras ravioli. Foie gras sautéed in butter and soy sauce at the bottom plays a complimentary role for the turkey. Third, turkey stew, Michiba style. Here he counters the challenger's spicy dishes with the soup in this stew, an original recipe using tomatoes, as does Furusho. The rice has absorbed all the flavors of the ingredients in the dish. Last, grilled turkey, isobe style. He sprinkled some herbs and spices on raw turkey meat, set it aside, and will cook it on a griddle in front of the panel. The Yakult Swallows, they have become the team to beat in professional baseball, and they've enjoyed lots of success on the road in Osaka the last few years, where this Cajun cuisine chef cooks for them. Today's challenger, Hiroshi Furusho. Furusho will take his best swings at Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme. For the Swallows, a bird you can eat. A bird for the holiday season, turkey. And challenger Furusho takes the ball and the bird, a route going effort with a set of five dishes. Iron Chef Michibo looking to hit a four bagger with his set of four dishes. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment on the panel today for the turkey battle are novelist Tamio Kageyama, actress Mayuko Takata, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. And Yakult manager Katsuya Nomura will taste but will not have a vote. First, the dishes of Challenger Furusho. Turkey is mild in flavor. The consomme jelly helps the turkey to speak up, so to speak. It's tender and very good. As Kageyama-san said, this is very mild, but it's different from regular chicken and different from chicken breast. The Turkey's flavor is really accentuated by the consomme. It's very good, but I notice uh, that the turkey is a bit 
rather weak in taste. You might have wanted to add a bit more flavor to it. We all know a turkey meat itself is uh, mild. It's not easy to use turkey. I think in Louisiana or Arkansas, there are dishes like this using frog's legs. Turkey is, flavor-wise, in between frog's legs and chicken. The texture of the meat was quite interesting and nice. And the sauce, well, this is quite profound. It's not curry as a whole. But it's like a very thin curry. You used a bit of soy sauce in the mayonnaise, and the use of citrus juice in this helps the dish. It adds depth. The soft texture of the eggs in the batter here, it really gently wraps all the flavors. It has such a soft texture and goes very well with the tomato sauce. For the ball players, this is like remembering their mother's recipes when they eat this. And now the cream stew will be served in the fried spring roll skin bowls. Oh. The bell peppers add an Asian ethnic touch to this. It looks like regular bechamel sauce, but it's it's quite spicy. This dish really has a lot of depth to it. And now comes the last dish, tom yum turkey soup. It's so spicy. It's hot. It's a punchy tom yum kun. But because of the mild flavor of the turkey, when you eat them together, those tastes are neutralized. You've done good. The overall flavor is quite spicy and nice, but I wish you would tenderize the turkey by beating it, I mean, mm, mm, to blend it better with the soup. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Michiba. I approach this like it was a bland chicken. Delicious. The thickness is so nice. I like this. <laughs> you boiled the turkey uh, just perfectly. So good. The turnip has absorbed the flavor of the foie gras. The taste of ginger uh, ties all the elements together very nicely. This goes beyond samgetan. It's more similar to a mm, pot au feu. And the tomato flavor is what adds to the turkey in this soup. Mm. The rice inside this is so good, but um, I like this with a bit more salt to it. Right. I felt exactly the same. This is uh, a bit too mild, but the combination of ingredients is perfect. The challenger went the Cajun route, so Michiba said he wanted to counter with Samgetan, but this could be considered jambalaya. He doesn't admit it, but he's accepting this challenge head on, isn't he, huh? Now Michiba will finish and serve his last dish. Smelling the soy sauce as it sizzles on the griddle is quite tantalizing. Wrapped in seaweed, it's ready to go. Hot. This is much more punchy than I thought. This is quite good. He's packaged this meat totally Japanese in flavor. Great job. As a cheerleader for the challenger, I don't know what to say. <laughs> don't forget him, please. Turkey dishes at home plate. Which man scores the winning run? We'll find out. シリーズ並みの熱戦となった今日の戦い。その結果を発表する前に選手の皆様にお願いがあります。もし挑戦者が勝ったとしても、このスタジアムの中で 
胴上げはやめてくださいもちろんビールかけも禁止ですそれでは発表します What a battle! Katsuya Nomura, one of the truly great figures in baseball, bringing in a chef who cooks for his Swallows team. Challenger Furusho executing the game plan, but just like in a baseball game, you have to outscore the opposition. Iron Chef Michiba, did his dishes plate enough runs? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Tetsujin Michiba, Rok Saburo! It's the Iron Chef Michiba escaping the last inning jam, getting the final out. He goes in the books as the winning pitcher in this one. Game one of the Kitchen Stadium Series to Michiba. Turkey, a difficult theme ingredient for Japanese cuisine, but even Nomura acknowledging the sharp performance turned in today by the wily veteran who still has a lot on the ball. Iron Chef Japanese, Roksaburo Michiba.